The Love Island cast of 2018, including Donnie Dyer, Jack Fincham, Megan Barton Hansen and Wes Nelson, reunited with all of their co-stars on Sunday evening. As viewers of the ITV2 show tuned in to catch up on all the gossip after the Islanders left the villa a week ago, they noticed things weren't quite the same between them all. In fact, many fans of the show noticed a lot of awkward moments between the former castmates. While Megan's explanation as to why she didn't get along with Georgia was one notable cringeworthy moment, there were several more that had viewers squirming into their TV sets. Let's have a look. Rosie Williams sat with Adam Collard and Zara McDermott. The seating plan for the Islanders was somewhat uncomfortable, as Adam's former flame Rosie Williams, whom he ditched Kendall Ray Knight for was sat on his left, while now girlfriend Zara was sat to his right. Many viewers took to Twitter to question the uncomfortable situation, with one writing, Wright, who decided to have Adam sat in between Zara and Rosie at the Love Island reunion. Awkward much? Rewatching Georgia Steele and Jack Fowler's Kiss Georgia, Jack Fowler and Laura Anderson's famous fallout over their date kiss was something everyone remembers after they both remembered things very differently. While Jack insisted to then-partner Laura that Georgia had initiated the kiss, Georgia remained adamant it was Jack who leaned in first. So when the clip was aired during the reunion show, it was awkward for all who watched as Georgia tried to tell Laura, if I'd remembered it that way, I would have said sorry straight away. And fans were quick to comment on the moment as they squirmed on their sofas, with one tweeting, them showing the Jack and Georgia kiss in front of ALL the Islanders is savage and I'm so here for it. However, some fans felt sorry for Georgia, as another added, we begged Love Island to show that Georgia and Jack kiss and they've probably shown it four times now poor Georgia. Caroline Flack quizzing Frankie Foster and Samira Mighty on cheating rumors after Frankie left the Love Island villa. Reports emerged he cheated on Samira claims the pair have since responded to, with Frankie explaining he simply slept in the same room as the woman in question, but not in the same bed. The biggest mistake for me and this is what me and Samira have spoken about and I had to apologize about is that I was in the same room as those two. He said on Dan Wooten's talk radio show, we met at a nightclub. We went out. I was asleep. Three beds. I went on the far left. They went on the far right at a hotel we stayed in and during the reunion. After Caroline asked if he'd been a naughty boy, Frankie said, Yeah there's been stuff in the papers. But what's come out in the papers we've dealt with and it's a very small part of what we've done since coming out. Samira then added, It's been a bit difficult, but we're positive now and we're fine. Despite rushing over the tension, fans pointed out how uncomfortable the couple looked, with one person writing on Twitter, Frankie and Samira looked so awkward in their couple last night. Donnie Dyer revealing Frankie Foster told girlfriend Samira Mighty he loves her following pictures of Donnie crying in her car last week, Caroline Flack quizzed the Love Island winner as to why she looked so upset. Donnie was quick to explain she was happy crying. As pal Samir had informed her over the phone that boyfriend Frankie Foster had told her he loved her. But the admission left a flustered Samira saying, thanks for that. Megan Barton Hansen addressing Georgia Steele feud following reports last week that Megan and Georgia had fallen out. Love Island presenter Caroline made sure to question the girls on what really happened. I'm very introvert and shy and Georgia's very extrovert. It's not that I didn't like her, I just didn't get it. But George's reply left viewers cringing even more as she sassily added, That's okay boo, no need to worry darling, before taking a sip of her drink. And former glamour model Megan didn't hold back in her honest response, telling Caroline, I just didn't get it. And the encounter was probably one of the most awkward of the night, as one fan tweeted, How awkward was that with Megan and Georgia then? While another agreed, Georgia and Megan that was kinda awkward no? Caroline Flack asking Laura Anderson and Paul Knopps if their official Laura and Paul were the only finalists not to be in an official couple when the show finished. However, Laura looked very uncomfortable with the question as Paul explained, it's pretty much the same as when we were in Air the Villa. So Caroline made sure to ask if their relationship status has upgraded. The whole time we were in there we said when we come out we have to meet each other's friends, family, get to know each other's lives. So Caroline advised the couple they continue to take things slow.